Big Brother Niger is a reality TV show based on the Big Brother TV series in which contestants live in an isolated house for three months and complete, compete for a large cash prize by showcasing their talents and avoiding being evicted by viewers. Now, the first session of the, or first season rather, of the show first aired from March the 15th to June the 4th. 20, uh, 2006. Now, the reality show is filled with a lot of drama and controversy. Each year, the contestants seem to take the controversy a notch higher, leaving mm. Nigerians uh, uh, glued to their TV sets for that period of time. And then somehow it gets, it may divide some morals and religious lines or even cross them, according to some analysts. And Nigerians are a religious conservative bunch, according to people. Uh, they were introduced to lead behaviors, sexual acts on live television. But well, this has sparked a debate among many Nigerians, while some have argued that the Big Brother Niger show is age-restricted and those not interested could happily watch programs of their choice Others are of the view that, <clears throat> excuse me, that the show impacts nothing on the citizenry, especially the younger generation, and hence should be scrapped. Now, what side of the divide are you? It's a big question. <laughs> uh, however, uh, it's one controversy a lot of Nigerians are involved in, and uh, business from the business side, people mm. see it differently. From the moral <laughs> side, people see it differently. But we have in the studio a social commentator, Kaude Salako. Uh, he's with us in the studio. Good morning. It's nice to You're see welcome. you. Yeah, good morning. Right. Uh, and we good also, morning, Nigeria. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and we also have uh, Soma Anyama of uh, Big Brother Niger Season 2. See you, Gobe. Okay, see you. At that time. Good morning, Soma. Good morning. Nice to see you. You're welcome. You. Thank you. you guys look very really splashing this morning. Oh, thank you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> and you look wonderful too. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Now, uh, let me start with you, Soma. The, okay. the, uh, every... Um, season of the Big Brother or the reality TV show yes. seem to come with its own drama, yes, its true. own controversy yeah. and all of that. You were in yours and you've been watching the previous ones and then you're watching the one going on no, no, no. right now. Yeah. Now, what is the difference between the one you attended, the Seagull Bay one and the uh, Double Wahala one going on right now? Um, first of all, the first obvious difference is the pairing. Okay. You know, because... Mm -hmm. um, in our season, there was no pairs. It was just everybody for yourself. But um, this season, they paired most of the housemates, and it brought quite a twist to it. No? Mm -hmm. So um, um, apart from that, I think we have more younger people uh, in this season. Um, so you know, I think I. You know, I would want to compare both, but you know, because I'm going to be biased because I was in the other <laughs> series. So. You, you know, the Seagull Bay uh, edition of Big Brother Niger, which was last year, right? Yeah. Yes, um, many thought it was the height of it because with so many dramas uh, you know, uh, there, and then the ladies uh, burying yeah. their chests, and it was outrage in Nigeria. It was so many actions, really. Some yeah. one person even had to be uh, disqualified at, yes, at a point true. because of an act that was not really good, which I don't even want to go into here. Uh, really, would you say that uh, Big Brother is helping shape uh, Niger uh, African youth, uh, Nigerian youth, Big Brother Niger now, or even contributing to uh, immorality somehow because of money? Um, well, I wouldn't say it's contributing to immorality because there are lots of young people that do um, a whole lot of things to make money in this country. It's quite hard in this country, you know. I understand that firsthand. I think Big Brother is actually giving people hope, you know. Take me for instance. Before I went to the house, um, I was earning 15k a month, working as a graphic designer, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I went into the house and I'm out, and my whole life has changed. And there are lots of people who watch me and see what the platform have done for me, and they are really, you know. I am a strong believer of don't give up. You know, you don't know when it's your time. So I don't think Big Brother has actually is actually um, um, causing moral decadence. You know, I think it's actually giving youths hope. You know, like last audition there were like fifty thousand people on you know in queue. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually giving people hope. Most of the people here are not here to, just because they want to do stuff. They, they're here actually to win the money and you know to help them. Their life. So, basically, so it's like giving an opportunity. It's an opportunity. It's All right, uh, uh, Kaede, let me come to you on this. Now, you, you, I know you've been following uh, these developments uh, and all of that, but from your perspective, uh, the reality TV show, uh, putting it either side, has it done more harm 
than good when it comes to the morals, like, like she was saying. You've listened to criticism from Nigerians. Some people have said, scrap the program, let, there be not, let not the program not go on again, and things like that. What's your opinion on this? It is um, part of the kind of system value we have been trying to build in Nigeria. Mm. For example, we used to have mass communication as um, a profession, a subject of studying in university. Mm. But because of the imagined reality, it has now been changed to new media. Mm. So most universities are now scrapping mass communication to new media communications as a subject of study. So I think what we also have in Nigeria is new value, I mean system value development reality. Mm. And that is to let you know that, um, you see, that is what sells in Nigeria. Mm. Music with that type of content is what sells in Nigeria. Movies, films, with that type of content is what sells in Nigeria. Reality TV show like that of the BBN is what sells in Nigeria. So if you are putting up a content in Nigeria that, does, that, that doesn't have such kind of, in quotes, immoral values, hmm. nobody will listen to it, nobody will watch it. It's not going to sell. What makes, what made the Obisere star in Nigeria? Mm. It's the content of this type of music that we see in Big Brother Nigeria. What made the Pasuma to rise? What makes Sentinet? All of them. Even the Olamide, all of them. You, you, the video. You can see the content of their songs. Mm. And that is what all our children dance to. Mm. When you go to any birthday party now for little kids, you need to, you need to listen to the content of the music. Songs, this innocent children dance to, and here we are complaining that Big Brother Nigeria is uh, promoting immorality. Why will it not be so? When that is what attracts our attention in Nigeria, even in politics, politicians with quality values don't attract us. In civil service. People want to do their jobs decently, normally, don't attract, they don't even last, they don't enjoy anything. So, Big Brother uh, Niger is one of those many contents that will stop into the orientation of our children. Well, it is not a program for everybody, as I understand. I don't watch it. I have not even seen one of the episodes. Because it is not my own kind of content. Mm. There are certain musical content I don't listen to. So, but I had to go online to see what people have been saying. And I feel the opinions of people are sharply divided. There are those who feel the program is not worth it. If they are saying that, then they should also keep talking about some of those musical content too. That should be scrapped. But they, all, they always do. They always want <clears throat> They do. They do. Yeah, but they still keep coming out. It simply means... In fact, NBC had to ban uh, some songs just recently. That's where I'm coming. The NBC has only banned few. There are many of them out there. And why can't the NBC put a kind of uh, a regulation that before your music comes out at all, bring it to us, let us listen to it before... We allow you to release it. Some of these songs would have been out there already mm -hmm. before the NBC would now start acting. That is failure of regulatory system in, in itself. Now, Big Brother Africa is supposed to be for mature, mature um, audience. It, it, it is on a dedicated television channels, and I, th I think it is all, also being shown around all the time. You know, a time that children would have gone to sleep. But the fact of the matter is, no matter how much you can keep it away from children, 
some of them will still want to see it because of the popularity of the program. Big Brother Niger is wrong for, for our value system. As far as I'm concerned, it's wrong. The content should have been modified. It, it, should, it doesn't have to be promoting sex film. It's like I see it as a, a modified, repackaged sex film. Modified sex film. Well, no, but, but, but that is not that is not the only uh, thing that goes on mm -hmm. in, at the, in the Big Brother. He wants to say something. Let, 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 let him drop. Okay. You will make your point. Sorry. There are some pictures on social media mm. where the housemates were sleeping with themselves openly. Such kind of content shouldn't have been allowed to come to the public. Even if that is part of the content, but for the purpose of public consumption and the kind of value system we are supposed to be living with here, we are Africans. We are not Western people. We are not Western people. So it is not everything they do in America, they do in the Western world. We have to be importing them because we are good at it. We are good at, we are good at importing things, just bringing everything here. What is the role of NBC here? If it is going to be Big Brother Niger, if it is Big Brother Africa, I would have been more comfortable with that. Big Brother Africa, but saying it is Big Brother Niger, when we don't have Big Brother uh, Ghana, we don't, we don't have Big Brother well, Kenya. It's not, it's but, not but it's a like function of private companies who come up with their idea, absolutely. concept, whoever they want as a kid. It's not government. It's not so shown on local channels it's anyway. Exactly. Right. So, TV channels. But, 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 channel. but uh, however, Coyote, let's, let's, let's we bring in We are here to come and discuss yes, the immorality aspect of the content. Uh, let, let's, 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 well, let's, 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 let's bring in some, some I, idea. I'd like to say mm. this. First of all, there's no script. It's not scripted. It's not like... We are, um, you come and they say, okay, guys, we want you guys to be making out every morning and in the evenings or after the parties. It's a social experiment. It's not everybody doing anything in the house is doing it free will. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So they just put one and two together. It, it's, it's, it's up to you to decide to make it three or leave it and change. You know. So um, I would disagree with you saying that um, Big Brother is trying It's promoting more of Im immorality. It depends on who they put in the house. If they put 12 reverend sisters in the house, it's going to be a season of holiness, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not about, it's not about the show itself. It's about the people in the house, the contestants. So most of the things happening and the content you're getting is from the people in the house. Well, well some would say that it could, the organizers understand what you just said, and that's why most usually it randomly picks different kinds of yes, people and yeah. put them in the mix. Yeah. To achieve a purpose. Yes, exactly. That's that's what it basically is. It's different personalities in the house. It's, it's a social experiment to see how people behave in a given situation. Now, we have this in this season. We have the pairing. Like I told you, in my season there was no pairing. It was everybody to himself. You know, so it was more competitive. Uh -huh. Now they have pairing, and um, um, human psychology. If you have a guy and a girl in a place together, even if they don't like themselves, like first time they meet themselves, if they are in an isolated um, environment for a, um, a long time, they begin to grow feelings for themselves. So basically, it's what happens in the house. And they are young people. You expect that their hormones are raging and things are going to ho happen. That's why they have a dedicated channel. And it is written 18 and above. Mm -hmm. that? It's not like it's on DSTV. If you want, if you have kids, young kids at home, and then you don't want them to watch the show, you block the channel, and it's that easy. But in the age we are in right now, Big Brother is the least of our concern because there is internet. There is anybody can decide to check up anything on the internet, you know. So it's not. I would. This is just. This. I don't even think this is a problem. So what is the problem? Well, the problem is we are in Africa. It's not even, I won't say it's a problem. It's not a problem. It's just how we are. We're Africans. And then we have really high moral standards. So for a show like this, I can understand that people, some people have like reservations, reservations about it. But you can't help it. You have young people in a secluded place, isolated. They almost, there's no how. That hormones will not read, feelings will not um, um, grow, and things like that. So. I don't know. Right. That's yeah. the best I can say. Okay. Okay. Uh, let, let me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, Kyle, the, the 
he mentioned something about uh, experimenting. He was talking about experimenting. He was talking about uh, trying to gauge people's uh, uh, psychology yeah. as a case may be. If we keep the issue of uh, the obscene things aside, bringing people of different backgrounds, of different makeup, of different behaviors together to live together in a certain place, check how they engage and interact with each other and all of that yeah. in the way of trying to experiment with people's psychology and all of that. Isn't that a good thing? Well, I have not condemned Big Brother of uh, Niger. Hmm. I have never condemned it because I know that the content is not meant for children. Hmm. It's not for children. And it's on dedicated channels. And nobody is forcing you to watch it. A lot of people that are complaining <laughs> would have been going there to watch. Because if you don't watch it, you won't know what's going on there. So you cannot, <clears throat> you cannot switch on your TV Start watching a program, you love to watch it, and after watching it, then you start complaining. No complaining. Nobody has forced you to go and watch it, so it's not compulsory. Mm. If you know you are a born again sister, you are religious, don't go there. Mm. There, are, there are many other TV stations, there are religious stations, there are Islamic stations, there are Christian stations, there are stations where that, those moral values you are looking for are available. This is for Secular, I mean, secularly oriented people. People who won't ever say anything wrong about it, who just want to get entertained, mm. mature people. But the fact of the matter is this just as he has said, we are in Africa. We are supposed to be morally inclined people. So when people come out to start criticizing this type of, of a program, it tells you who we are as Africans. Well then, don't you and think... my well, own... Okay, let me, I want to make this one so we can uh, talk about it. Don't you think that is even the challenge? Most usually, not just Nigerians, but Africans, like we said, uh, you, both of you have said, uh, you have this high moral standard, but somehow gets to be accused that they are pretenders because you complain about something that you don't like this thing, and then when they call for votes, millions of people vote. Who are the people that vote? Who are the people that comment <laughs> online? In fact, Loretta Onoche, the special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on social media, got tons of messages that she should push for it to be banned. If they don't watch, like you said earlier, how are they tell saying these things? Meaning that, are they in denial or just or plain pretenders? Now, those that are complaining might not be as many as those that like it. Mm. Nigeria is not a religious country. Nigeria is a secular country. We only want to force the reality on ourselves. We want to force it, make it by force. A senator came, a senator came on the floor of the house about four days ago uh, to promote a bill that NYC female uh, you know, participant should start wearing skirts. On, on the basis of what? Religion. Nigeria is not a religious country, it's a secular country. So many things can happen here. But I am sitting here today as a parent, a father, that I would have preferred a better content for big brother Naida as a father, a parent, because I wouldn't want my children to be associated with that type of content, TV content. But fortunately for me, my children don't even have access to it. Exactly, it's not for children. We don't even watch it in our house. It's not even on my, it's not even on our, on our own. But uh, they could have friends who, so, who they could watch from. No. I want to respond to your question. If the devil comes to establish a church in Africa, he will have plenty of members. Once money is involved. A lot of people, some of these housemates, they have family members, they have relatives, they have fans. And some of these fans are associating with this program because of the monetary inducement. We are talking about, I think it's about 50 million. 45. 45 million naira for God's sake. <laughs> it's an SUV. That alone is enough to attract people. But some of them are from wealthy homes. Really. You know what? Some of these participants, uh, contestants, are from yeah. wealthy homes. They are from wealthy homes. But, but they have not made that 45 million naira. That's not part of their, of their wealth. Yeah. They want to make more. Rich people will always be looking for how to make more money. True. Besides, that money is not, if they are from wealthy homes, that is their parents' money. Now they want to make their own. And, and I think the bait here, yeah, the, the, the element of attraction in this program is that 45 million naira and the SUV. That alone is enough to even attract me. 
<laughs> to be a housemate. <laughs> maybe, you, <laughs> maybe you have to start trying Honestly, watching in this, now. In this occasion, yeah. is, in this program is thrown to even villagers. Mm. Even if it is taken to churches, if they go to advertise in churches, you'll be surprised on, that some pastors will even want to be housemates. Mm. <laughs> because of that money, <laughs> uh, you know, factor. So, what we are saying is this. Big brother Africa Niger might not be good for the kind of moral system we are supposed to have. But it is for dedicated viewers, audience. It is not by force. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you like it, watch it. And if you see anything you're not supposed to see there, then you don't have to complain. Because nobody forced you to go and watch it. That's one. Then two. That is what we like in Nigeria. Let's call a spade a spade. Okay. That is the kind of content which attract a lot of people because Nigeria has a lot of problems. Mm. There are a lot of problems, social pressure. So exactly. people want to see this type of content. Uh, all right, let, let to me relax. All right, let me come to mm. summer here. The point there is when people talk about immorality, yeah. sim it is the man woman thing that the that people only yeah, see as yeah, immorality. Yeah. Corruption is immorality. Of all of these things are immorality. Yeah. We have them yeah, in our society. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Fraud. All yeah. of them are immorality. But let me come to you all looking at the positive side of this. Because, uh, like you said, he has changed your life. Before you went in there, you, you told us how much you, you earn as, a, as a, a, a programmer. But now that you're out, there's so much opportunities out there. Mm -hmm. Now talk to us about uh, what and what you have, you and some of your colleagues that are out and all of that, what you have really benefited so far. Well, um, first of all, um, a lot of people know me now. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's easier to actually do things I want to do. Um, Musically, for instance, I used to produce and make music, you know, before I went to the house. But then the audience that was um, receiving the music wasn't as much as now. You know, right now I have over two hundred thousand followers uh -huh. on just my Instagram alone. You know, so and if I drop music right now, at least thirty percent will listen, will like, will listen to it. You know, and um, a lot of things have happened for me. There are so many places I wouldn't enter on a normal day. You know, I, I wouldn't be here on a normal day, you know? Of course. But now I went, yo, I went to the show and I'm out and everything has been a lot better for me, you know? Um, my acting career has been awesome. I just, okay, I'm on Jennifer's Diaries right now, you know? MTV Sugar, which is like one of, after I'm a big grand ninja and Jennifer's Diaries, that's one of the biggest um, platforms you can be on as an entertainer, you know? Um, I've dropped some music. My colleagues too have done. They've been doing things. Everybody has actually been busy. You know, I think it's this is the best thing that's happened to me. Going to Big Brother is the best thing that's happened to me. My dad is a pastor, and <coughs> I, I know that he wouldn't have like he wouldn't have approved of it if I told him before I went to the house. But I'm, I'm sure because I, I actually called him the day before I traveled. Like, hey, Daddy, <laughs> man, Daddy, I'm going for Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Did he agree? Yeah. What did he say? He couldn't say anything now because <laughs> everything not said. Like, he couldn't say anything. You know, he he couldn't say anything. Whatever billion dollars involved, you know. But, but <laughs> even if I went, I think when I came back out, he was still proud of me. He's <laughs> because now my family name is even more like I've brought the family name to light because yeah. you know he can't even say anything right now at this point. He's so <laughs> proud, <laughs> super proud of me, okay. you know. So like the show has actually done a lot for me. And okay. every other person that has been on the show, I'm very sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. Skyo De Salako, uh, social commentator, and Soma Anyama, uh, Big Brother housemate of Seagull Bay in yes. 2017. Thank you very much uh, for coming on. Thank, thank you.